OMG. Welcome back to my channel. So excited you are here. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate you. It's Jody Dunn. I'm bringing you a rebate haul, but it's kind of coupon after dark because it's dark outside. It was not dark before I went in to the store. I should have filmed my intro then. Would have been better lighting, but I didn't. So here we are. I am here to knock out my weekend warrior bonus for Ibotta. And because I'm working with that big bonus, I know I kind of already brought you a rebate haul this week. Um, I thought I would just film it again. I'm only gonna be shopping at Kroger um, and just grabbing some deals at Kroger to finish out my weekend warrior. If you're new and you just found me, so happy that you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know you are new right down there. I would love to welcome you and say hello to you. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back to another video. Leave me a hello down there so I can say hi to you as well. So let me know if you got a weekend warrior bonus. I did. I received $5. I can't remember if it's $5 for 15. I think it's the same one I got for my midweek. So super duper awesome. Super excited about that. So I'm going to go ahead and knock that out. Um, so let me know if you received one. So anyways, we're going to run into Kroger. I had a really weird thing happen with my um, Walmart receipt from... Well, you're going to see this on Friday. I'm doing this shopping Thursday evening. Uh, my Walmart receipt from Wednesday really weird never has happened to me before but I'll go over that with you so anyways we're gonna run into the store if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up I appreciate you so much let's go grab some awesome deals happy Friday we are in the Kroger to finish out this Ibotta weekend warrior bonus I did hold my receipt from Walmart so I have eight rebates towards that bonus so far I'm going to go ahead and start off with the Rockstar deal. They're still buy one, get one free, which is an awesome deal. And we have that rebate over on aisle for $5 back when you buy two. This runs through December 31st, and you can do it once every other week. I'll have the link down in the description box. So these two are going to be a $2.31 moneymaker. I'm going to start my rebates off with the Fast Twitch. These are also buy one, get one free. They're priced at $2.79 in my store. So I'm going to go ahead and grab four of them. I'll pay just $2.79 twice. The other two will ring up for zero. I'll submit over to Ibotta for a dollar rebate back on each. That is a limit of five, so you can do it up to five times. And then I have 50 cents on Fetch for every two that I buy with a limit of three. So it'll be just 58 cents for all four of them after rebates back and gives me four rebates towards my Ibotta bonus. Since I held my Wednesday receipt and didn't scan it to Ibotta till Thursday and got eight rebates towards this bonus, I only need seven rebates, but I'm gonna try to do more because it'll all go towards the big bonus. All right, next up I'm grabbing this Country Croc. Um, drizzle drizzle and something i found it over in the refrigerated section by the butter it's on sale for two dollars and 99 cents i do have a dollar digital coupon so i'll pay a dollar 99 and then submit over to ibotta for two dollars back so it makes it totally free it is a limit of three on ibotta so you could grab two more and they would just be 99 cents each one free two for 99 cents and then I was walking down the aisle and look what I found, a little display of this product with some Peely coupons, OMG. So check your store and see if you might have these. Um, it was not in the same part as where I found uh, the original one, but it wasn't too far away from it. So I'm gonna go ahead and max the rebates out on Ibotta and grab three of them. And I'll use two of the hang tag coupons I used or Peely coupons and get all three of them for free. I did not check to see if this rebate says it excludes the use of coupons. I never have an issue. So if you're not comfortable doing that, then don't use coupons. All right, next up, I'm gonna grab some super cheap YoPlay yogurt. And I'm gonna show you another way you can do this deal as well. Um, but I'm gonna grab three of these high protein Yoplait yogurt. They're on sale 10 for $8. So they're just gonna ring up for 80 cents each. I have a dollar off three 
digital coupon. So I'm gonna pay $1.40 for these, and then I'll submit over to Ibotta for a dollar rebate back when I purchase three of the Yoplait Protein. So it'll make all three of these just 40 cents. Now you could actually do this deal a little bit different. You could go ahead and grab seven of the regular Yoplait yogurts. So they would all, all of these would ring up for $8. So you'd have the three protein and seven of the regular. There is a weekly digital deal for $3 off when you buy 10 of them. So that drops you down to $5. Then I have a 75 cent off of two and a 50 cent off of five, which would drop me down to 375. And then submitting for the dollar rebate back on three protein. And then there's a 50 cent rebate back on Ibotta for buying five of the regular ones. So it would make it $2.25 for all 10 yogurts. Next up, I'm gonna grab these Danimal smoothies. There's a weekly digital deal coupon you can clip that will make these $1.49 each. And then there's a rebate over on Ibotta for a dollar back when you buy two. So it's gonna make them 99 cents each. I think my grandbabies will like these. And actually when I got home, Donna Jean was so excited that I got Danimals. Apparently she loves them as well. I'm going for all food and drink items in this haul, no personal care or anything. So next up, I am out of taco shells at home and we prefer the old El Paso. So there is a weekly digital deal coupon you can clip that will take 50 cents off of each one. These are $2.99 in my store. So with that coupon, they're gonna ring up for $2.49 each. And then I'm gonna grab one of these enchilada kits, which we love. They're normally $4.79, but they are on sale for $3.99. And I also have a 50 cent weekly digital deal for this. So it'll ring up for $3.49. Then I have a digital coupon for 75 cents off of two. So I'm gonna pay $7.72 for these three. I have a dollar Kroger cashback rebate when I buy three. I have a rebate over on Ibotta for $1.50 back when I buy three. And then I have a rebate over on Fetch Rewards for 50 cents back when I spend five on, in old El Paso products. So these three are gonna cost me $4.72 or $1.57 each. And that's probably the cheapest that I will ever get these products that I buy regularly from the grocery store anyways. So I have 10 rebates now. I only needed seven. I did go ahead and grab two, another set of Rockstar um, because you guys have used my referral link. Thank you so much. I have some extra redemptions and that'll just help lower my cost a little bit. The Rockstar rebate is one per receipt. So this is just how I'm separating it in two separate transactions. And then I almost forgot, I wanted to grab some of the um, macaroni. I've never tried the macaroni. I wish the rice aroni was included with this rebate because I think my girls would really like that. But I'm just going to go ahead and get five more rebates. These are on sale for a dollar each and I have 50 cents over on Ibotta. So even if I try this macaroni and I don't like it, I'll just, they're a great donation item and it gives me five more rebates towards that big bonus. So now I have 15 rebates. So this will hit my weekend warrior bonus anyways, even though I only need seven, but it gives me extra rebates towards the big bonus. So let's head to the kitchen table and go over my final cost. All right, we are back at the kitchen table with this uh, weekend warrior rebate haul. So this is stuff that I already did, already put in my video, already accounted for, but I had to to share this with you because something very weird happened with, for me on Ibotta that's never happened before. So um, if you watched my Walgreens video, I did Walgreens and Walmart where I grabbed some Ibotta rebates at Walmart and I didn't need it for my midweek. So I said, I'm going to hold my receipt and wait until Thursday to scan it to see if I get a weekend warrior. And as I always tell you, that's always risky holding receipts because rebates can just go away. So Thursday morning, I open up Ibotta and the first dang thing right on that homepage of Walmart is the $3 bounty to clip it. And I was like, oh no, they took it away and they fixed it. And so I scanned the bounty in um, for Walmart and it showed 
nothing attaching. And I was like, crap, you shouldn't have held your receipt. Now you're going to miss out on that $3 rebate. And so I'll just have to take that back. You know, whatever, no big deal. That's the risk that you take when you hold a receipt that rebates can go away, rebates can change, they'll fix things, yada, yada, yada. So as I'm sure you are all aware, Walmart receipts are completely different than any other receipt because we don't take a picture of our Walmart receipts. We scan the barcode. So Ibotta gets a very clear picture of exactly what we buy. Things that will glitch at other stores like CVS or Kroger will never glitch at Walmart because you don't take a picture of your receipt. You scan the barcode and it, it tells everything that it's purchasing. Unlike at, you know, a Kroger, for instance, the receipts are not as clear they don't have barcodes on them. They don't always describe the products well. For instance, I bought Yoplait yogurt protein. It doesn't say, it just says Yoplait yogurt. How is Ibotta supposed to know what that is? There's no barcode. Of course, it didn't pick it up when I scanned my receipt because it doesn't say Yoplait protein. That never happens at Walmart. So I scanned the barcode of the receipt and it picked up every rebate except for the bounty. And I was like, well, that's a bummer. Now I'm gonna have to take the bounty back. Now it is possible that the bounty napkin, the one that attached to the napkins, which it wasn't supposed to to begin with, was in my list and I just didn't check my list. But when I scanned that barcode, it still did not show me getting credit. So I was only gonna get 1770 from this receipt versus the 2070 that I would have gotten had I scanned my receipt on Wednesday when I purchased everything. It took about 30 minutes to final credit and it gave me $3 for the bounty. I don't even know how. I have never seen Walmart credit extra because of, again, the way their receipts are and the way we scan a barcode, we don't take a picture. I've had that happen at Kroger several times where it final credits for more than it said. So super duper weird, but I don't have to take my bounty back. I did actually get credit for it, but I'm pretty sure they fixed that now. So the napkins are not working for that rebate. So I had to share that with you. So, all right, let's go over my Kroger haul. It worked out fantastic. Only one little thing didn't work out the way I thought it would. Um, but anyways, it was awesome. I got all food items, which I absolutely love. So let's just take a look at this receipt. So I did two receipts because obviously I was submitting twice for the Rockstar. Um, so this is the one with the Country Crop. So there you can see the $1 coupon for my YoPlay and then the Country Croc digital coupon was right there. And then the two Peelies that I scanned, they scanned just fine. So $15.84 is what I paid for that one. And then um, this was the other one. Um, and yep, I just had a digital coupon for the old El Paso. $18.59 was what I paid. I think that was my only coupon on that one. So I paid a total of $34.43 for all of this stuff here. Um, submitted to Rockstar for $10 back. Kroger cash back should be $1 back for the three old El Paso, which P.S. All of my Kroger cash back from last week credited. I was sweating a little because I did shopping on Friday and Sunday. I hadn't, I did not get credit. And I was like, dang it, is it not working again? Monday, I got credit. So it took three days, but I got all of my credit. So Kroger Cashback seems to be working, at least for me. It wasn't working for like two months. Uh, submitted my receipts to Ibotta. One was for $11. One was for $5. Hit my $5 weekend warrior. And then the only thing that didn't work the way I thought it should work was Fetch Rewards. So I got 50 cents back for buying the three old El Paso. And then for the Fast Twitch, it, I had to correct my receipt. It didn't pick, it just picked them up as regular Gatorade, which the receipt even says 
I think for this one, it says fast twitch. Um, so the limit, it's five or 50 cents back for buying two with a limit of three. It only gave me 50 cents back one time. And I'm wondering if it's because they rang up for zero because they're buy one, get one free. That shouldn't matter because I've done that before at other stores. It's not a spend deal. It's a buy two, but I'm not going to recorrect my receipt. I already did it once. So, so I ended up getting a dollar back from Fetch where I thought I was going to get a dollar fifty. So I ended up earning $33 from this haul that I paid $34.43. So everything ended up being a cost of $1.00. And a 43 cents, which I think is so awesome. And I now have 67 rebates towards my big bonus. I might look for just three more so I can finish the week out with 70 <laughs> rebates. And then I'll have three more weeks to get the other 80 rebates I need for that. So there you go. That is what I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. And I'm going to see you again soon. Bye.